Hello guys. Um, the new hair, I call it the Fountain of Drew. The Fountain of Drew. Uh, so, I just have like a couple quick things to talk about tonight. Um, one of the first things is, um, I went and saw my doctor today, like my main doctor, not the one that did the surgery or anything like that. And, um, and I told him, I was like, you know, I, I can't sleep. Um, like if you can, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like these massive black bags under my eyes. <clears throat> That's from getting four hours of sleep in the last two nights. Uh, so it's been pretty intense. Uh, so I told him that I just can't sleep uh, because of the cage around my leg. I can't get comfortable. Um, this past weekend, I was inches away from going to the emergency room uh, because I was just in so much pain. And um, and I, I was going to go to the emergency room. And on top of that, I was out of factor, which totally sucked. Um, because I have a bleed in my calf right now and it just came out of nowhere like I don't even know how it happened um, so I was gonna end up going to the emergency room and um, I, I don't even know what they would have done um, but I was gonna go and see and hope that they had factor um, but uh, so yeah that's kind of where I'm at. He gave me, um, my doctor gave me a whole bunch of pain medication and he put me on um, some Ambien again. Um, but it's weird because I, I don't know if you guys saw that, that video that I made on here with me on Ambien, but I haven't had like an episode like that since then. Like I'm on Ambien right now. Uh, I took it probably two or three hours ago and I mean I'm not all that delusional but what it's a dragon dragon now I'm talking <laughs> you let me know if he comes back anyways um, I got a couple games to review. Uh, I played a couple games. One was called Prototype, and that's a very cool game. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. So, um, it's a survival game. Uh, it's about this character that ends up getting infected with this virus, and he, uh, this virus ends up kind of leaking into, uh, New York City, and he ends up mutating parts of his body to help him throughout his journey to find and seek revenge on the guy that did this to him, which is the typical storyline, you know, all about revenge. Uh, but the gameplay is really awesome. Um, you can like run up the sides of buildings. Uh, the, the weapons that your arms morph into are really badass. Uh, they're really cool. So if you get a chance, you know, and just looking for a good game, uh, it's rated M. So, you know, no youngins can play it. Um, but it's rated M, uh, but it's called Prototype. And uh, check it out if you get time. The second game that I rented was Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Uh, very cool game. I, I remember playing the first one a long time ago. I wasn't a big fan of it. Um, I didn't like it so much. But then I thought, well, I'll go ahead and try and play this because I keep seeing previews for it on TV. So I tried it, and I liked it a lot. Um, it's got a really cool twist to everything because you, um, pretty much all of the superheroes, um, divide onto two different teams. And so you have Captain America leading one team, and then you have Iron Man leading the other team, and they pretty much go head to head and duke it out hardcore. Uh, so that's pretty cool to actually, that concept, of something like you know that happening having all these superheroes turn against each other um, but it's pretty cool the gameplay itself is kind of redundant uh, it gets old because um, pretty much you just do the exact same thing over and over again um, 
and uh, it's, it's, it feels very arcade-like, uh, the game does. So, uh, but it's definitely worth a rent uh, just to check it out, just for the storyline mainly, um, just for the fact that they do kind of turn on each other and everything. So, um, we filmed last night, and we got a whole bunch done. We got uh, 40 minutes of footage done, and which is really good. And um, so we got quite a bit done. We finished up three episodes, and so that's three out of 24 episodes. So we're kind of moving, we're moving along there. Um, I think that's about it. I'm very much anxiously awaiting the doctor's appointment in October, October 17th, and I really hope, God, just, if you will, please, please pray for me that when I go in for the surgery that they do take it off. Please pray that my bone has healed enough and he ends up taking it off. Because people, I'm telling you something. I cannot live with this thing on my leg no more. It pretty much comes down to this. If it doesn't get and if it doesn't get taken off on October 27th, I'm going to come home. I'm going to bust out a wrench and I'm going to bust out some screwdrivers and I'm going to take the damn thing off. And if it just dangles there, it's just going to dangle. Eh. But I'm done. I'm done with it. Just done. Um, Alright, well, I guess this kind of concludes my night. It's going to be a really short one because I'm actually starting to get tired now. And before I start seeing Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers and everything before I see them fighting each other. Um, I'm going to get off here. Uh, so, anyways, to all my new people that are watching, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And to all the old people that are watching, hey guys, what's up? Um, I'd love to hear from some of you. Some some of you uh, I didn't hear from in the last blog. So, uh, you know, I know it's not like you guys have lives or anything, so I should hear from you like ASAP. Um, come on. God. It's a pain in my ass. Uh, so, no, if you get a chance, you know, just shoot me a hey or something like that. Um, and uh, it was awesome to hear from Tiffany a couple blogs back. Uh, that was great to hear from her. Uh, you know, know that she's still alive and, and kicking and all that good stuff. So, anyways, okay, I'm out. Um, if you are new to watch me, can you go ahead and subscribe on that yellow button up on top. And uh, please rate and comment on my videos. And everybody have a great night, and I will talk to you all soon. Alright, thanks and God bless and take care. Night guys.